Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are approaching today uh, again a uh, new lecture uh, on uh, case studies of best participatory budgeting practices in uh, different parts of the world. Uh, we are uh, Empache project team from Klaipedo University. Uh, we'll present to you uh, one of the uh, results of our project. Uh, this is a uh, blueprint book on uh, best uh, participatory budgeting practice in the uh, different cities. For the purpose of uh, our book, we uh, uh, classify the cities on small, middle-sized, large and mega. Altogether, with colleagues from Rostock University, we analyzed uh, 10 cities. Uh, to the small cities, we included uh, Eberswalde from Germany, Cruz Alta from Brazil, from middle-sized cities Olsztyn from Poland and Reykjavik from Iceland. For the large cities we, uh, we uh, analyzed Stuttgart from Germany, Cluj from Romania and Lisbon from Spain. And from mega cities we analyzed Chengdu from China, Paris from France and uh, Toronto. Uh, we uh, have uh, special questions which we analyzed, which, is, which is specific problem is addressed and what is innovative in uh, these best uh, cases. Now I started with introduction of each city. Eberswalde from Germany, this is a small city and uh, PBE established in this city since 2008 based on initiatives by the local council as one of the first PB processes in Germany. And uh, regarding the regulations, so it is citizen budget, direct democratic, through a PB statute, a specific budget is a site for direct implementation of the highest voted proposals. Uh, actually, the PB budget in the city is 104,000 euros and PB budget per inhabitant 2 uh, euros uh, 49. And there are three stages for the, budget, for, for the PB processes is proposal, feasibility check and voting. Uh, what we can say that uh, in 2020, uh, where was a huge success for the, uh, this participatory budget. Number of proposal was 103, number of voters 2073. It increased plus 12% comparing with our years and participation rate of eligible voters 5%. And uh, voting take place on one day only, usually one Saturday in September of each year, even last uh, nine hours, supported by around uh, 30 voluntary staff members in the city administration. And uh, it was organized in the city family garden, containing a playground for children and other recreational facilities. For more information, you can find on the link which is mentioned in our slide. Cruz Alta from Brazil, also a small municipality. PB history began since 2004 when the Walkers Party uh, won the elections and uh, since that uh, Alta Cruz, uh, the latest issue have been approved for the 2017 and 20 reporting year. Uh, a city law legitimizes the creation of uh, Coordinaria de Relayos Comunitarias and appointed city committees on PB. Uh, actually, PB budget is not fixed uh, for a special area and depend on the community choosing projects. So the process uh, has different ways of involving the residents. Uh, there are some uh, preparatory meetings which is open for the public and attended by community leaders. Various regional assembly is open to the public and attracts the same participants as the regional preparatory meetings. Uh, one of the major success of PB in Vos City was uh, the reactivation of civil society. In 2004, only half of the residential streets were active offering organized activities and recurrent meetings in the neighborhoods. After four years uh, of PB, 100% were active because to be effective in PB required to be active. And you can see the link which is presented to you in the slide. 
For the middle sized, we choose an Austin from Poland, so PB or civic budget, uh, like it was mentioned in uh, different documents, is a long term process with annual cycles. First, PB in 2014 uh, started with 0.43 of total budget, and there is Municipal Local Government Act in which uh, was recognized PB as a special form of social consultations. PB is mandatory in local governments with country rights and uh, entry tickets is a resolution of self-government council. Actually, uh, for PB, uh, each municipality must to plan its budget and in 2020 uh, Austin uh, has 104,000 uh, euros and uh, PB planet uh, per inhabitant about 8 euros in 2000, 2021. There are six stages for the PB process. It's submission process, evaluation of application, appeal of the evaluation of application, announcement of the list of projects for voting, voting, official announcement of the results, and citizens over 15 years are allowed to participate. For the case of success, we found out that in Austin, PB tripled in comparison to the first edition and collected 216 uh, 1,182 votes to choose nearly 900 projects. And according to the survey uh, held in 2017, about 90% of the respondents plan to participate in the next edition. You can find more information on the link uh, presented. So, usually people vote via website or special program. Reykjavik, Iceland, the capital of the city, of the country, and it's also a middle-sized uh, city, and uh, the PB history related with the initiative Better Reykjavik. And the website was launched in 2010 by two private citizens in collaboration of the city council with the Better Reykjavik, uh, which became known as My Neighborhoods Forum, that is the annual PB since 2011. So, uh, this platform uh, is managed by a non-profit organization and participation in my neighborhood. Final vote is more uh, restrictive, requiring user to obtain verification by Icelandic National Voter Registry. For the participatory budget, Reykjavik allocated uh, 3 uh, million 600,000 euros for this initiative and the public spent approximately 5-6% of the city capital investment budget. So, PB budget per capital is 30 euro. And uh, the process is run like uh, by Citizen Foundation writes the software of Reykjavik, runs the election and the National Registry of Authentication Voters. So, in case of success, so we can say that more than half of the city population uh, have participated in 2008 uh, PB while there were 40% in the first year 2011. And actually this initiative Battery Reykjavik is an umbrella for many different projects. The initiative named is Digital Democracy and you can find more information on the link presented below. Stuttgart, it's a large city uh, from Germany and uh, actually PB established it in 2011 through initiative by one citizen and um, actually regulation is consultative only and PB statute defines steps of the PB process uh, is adjusted uh, for every PB edition. Uh, total amount of money spent the last process not determined flexible PB budget per inhabitant not determined flexible too. And there are three phases of PB process. It's proposals, voting, likes and dislikes. So, there is a possibility to say some dislike to some initiatives, but dislikes are not deducted from likes. And feasibility check for uh, 100 best voted project. In case of success, we can uh, uh, note it that in 2020, number of proposal was uh, 2156, number of voters 90,980 and uh, participation rate of eligible uh, voters was 3.3%. You can read more about uh, Stuttgart case in the link below at the, uh, our slide. 
Cluj from Romania. So history of this uh, PB was first proposed by Cluj during the 2002 election campaign. In 2013, a pilot project for participatory budget was implemented in the largest district of the city, Manastur, and uh, there is no legislation based for initiative for citizen participation. In total, 150,000 uh, euros uh, was uh, uh, was uh, spent for this uh, PB budget and usually uh, it organized by identifying categories into which residents can submit pro projects. The city council checks eligibility of the projects and residents vote for approved projects in one or more stages. Uh, in case of success, we can uh, state that the total budget in 2013 was uh, 4 million of euros or all 0.75% of the city municipal GDP. Uh, in 2015, the EOS participatory budgeting was implemented as part of European EOS capital program and uh, 437 initiatives of which 170 received funding and 100 small projects initiated by young people their funding. You can find more information on the link below. Lisbon Again, one of the large city success story. So this is the first European country uh, that invested public funds in PB, first adopted by city council in 2008. Operates in an annual cycle with democratic voting uh, by every residence over 18. And there is a law number 42 2016 which set up legal rules for PB Charter of Principles, Roadmap for PB, Specific Administrative Division, Division for Organizational Innovation and Participation. And for PB, Lisbon spent 5 million euros. It's 5.4% of Lisbon City annual budget in the first year. Later, it was reduced by half, and PB budget per inhabitant is about 1 euro 18 cent. So, there is a special portal, Lisbon Participa. Uh, it's municipal space for PB. Online face to face participation is usually um, happen, and since 2014, citizens can vote through SMS. Uh, in case of success, more than 1,700 participants voted in 2008. From 2008 to 2018, uh, 6,743 proposals submitted, and uh, most of them were selected and in total uh, 36 million uh, have been allocated through 139 projects. So you can see more information on the link uh, below at our presentation. Uh, in case of big city, Chengdu, China, very interesting example in this population about 16 million of people. So PB focused on ensuring spatial justice and reducing rural urban development disparities. In case of this uh, city, the regulation by Chengdu Communist Party Committee and the municipality is applied. PB divided in two uh, main categories. In total, it's about uh, 26,000 uh, uh, of uh, euros per village. There are three step uh, cycles. So, first, information collected on what projects are needed. Then decision making in rural council happen, and uh, after decision made, so project monitored and evaluated. So the total amount of PB budget has first doubled and then tripled, and nowadays it's uh, 17.91 uh, euro capital per year. And under the participatory budget initiative, each village has set up a village council with uh, 20 members. You can find more information on the link below. Paris, next mega city with population 2.15 million people. Established in 2014 as pilot project, PB is continuing and annual since uh, 2015 with allocation of 5% of the city investment budget each year. Uh, city has uh, approved charter of participative budget adopted by authorities. Elected committee that evaluates project proposed by residents. Since 2016, 100 million euro is allocated annually, and PB budget per capita 45 euros. Process: There are four steps cycle: so proposals, co-creation, selection of project by elected committee, and finally voting can include the selected project in the budget. 
Oh, where is the case of success? We found out that it's competitive leadership, properly selected instrument for the implementation, aid for residents willing to participate, and uh, diversification of the PB itself, commitment to the PB. And for the purpose of citizen participation, several institutions were established neighborhood council, youth council, Parisian students council, and etc. And also, there are some new digital tools to introduce it. You can find more information on the links below at our presentation. Toronto, again, one more mega city, and Toronto piloted the PB in 2015-2017, so it has not a long history in three words. Uh, the final version of the PB pilot was approved by the City Council 2019 and uh, City Council approved the um, decision uh, to initiate the PB pilot. So over the three years, pilot residents voted for 90, uh, 37 projects and the total amount of 1,190,000 was allocated. Uh, the process consists from six step style, so idea collection, idea review, ballot selection, voting, ballot allocation and finally implementation. And success lies in the fullness of the pilot. PB pilot provided for the information about the usefulness of such an instrument or engagement. And this is really a good example for small communities and mega cities how to introduce PB. It's constant involvement of the city staff in PB and simple structure that could be useful strategy in communities with poor IT development or great share of elderly population. You can learn more about PB in Toronto by uh, clicking the link below. And finally, I just want again to uh, focus your attention on the uh, one of the project of the Empire uh, project. This is participatory budgeting blueprint guide. You can find the link here. So thank you for your attention and I wish you good luck.